Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all to Dawn of War Soulstorm once again. When we last left off, we have invaded Caravan 2. And it's time, to, well, time to pretty much end the game. In a few videos' time, anyway, but we've got some other stuff we need to do first, like taking, uh, taking on Gorgas's war here in Cerula. Karula? Karulia? Oh, I, don't, I don't care. Just, we're just going to attack it and we're going to hope for the best. We took out his looted tank, I think, so... Uh, and this is only a three strength... Um, territory. So this should be a relatively simple endeavour. Uh, of course, knowing me, uh, that's now going to go horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, where's my other worker unit? It's a bit hard to tell when the fog goes all funny. Right. It also doesn't help that my cursor does not appear to be constrained to the window today. That's a bit weird. So, using keyboard again. So you're going to hear the clickety -clatter clattering in the background. Like it did last episode. Oh well. Doesn't matter too much. Uh, let's get some flayed ones because I can just teleport them directly over to the uh, to the enemy. All right. You know, I've been playing a lot of uh, Tiberium Sun recently because I recently discovered it was uh, made free to play. Uh, not free to play. Um, what's the term? Freeware. It was made freeware by EA to coincide with the release of Command & Conquer 4, the one that we don't talk about. Because it's not a Command & Conquer game, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, it's got not GDI and Kane in it, but uh, and a screen tower makes an appearance. But, seriously, it's, it's, it's not a good game. Not good at all. Right, destroyers! Let us investigate and see if they're actually over here. They're not over here, are they? Over here? Or are they over there? What? How many players is this map? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's an eight player map, right. They spawned right next to us, didn't they? I thought they would have spawned at, on the other like on the other side, opposite us. But they do not appear to be here. Well, that's interesting. Where the hell have they gone? Don't tell me they have. Oh, they're up the top. God damn it. Right, change direction. We're going up. Change course, folks. Change course. Alright. Thankfully, the turrets are placed in such a way that they should not be able to get into my base without a little bit of resistance at the very least. Uh... Oh, 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 I see slug boys. Take out the flame guy! Or burner boy, or whatever they call them. I don't know. And one squad down. Lovely. Nice to see that the uh, the flayed ones and the warriors are being about as speedy as they normally are. I'm probably going to have to do this without them, aren't I? Luckily. Boom. Right. Four flayed one squads. Reinforce them all. Uh, they've got something with a missile launcher on it. That's going to be a little bit painful. Uh, you're good against vehicles. Oh, you're good against gore guts. Go gore guts, please. Right. That's that big mech down. 
Oh wow, Gorgas is doing a lot of morale damage. So he's not doing so much physical damage, it's the morale that's the problem. Gorguts has far less health than us as well. And I don't think he's got any of his war gear for um, health. So that would probably explain that. But again, I'm fairly certain that the AI has a health penalty for whatever reason. Because, I don't know, it just, it just seems that way. Despite being on normal mode. I definitely select the normal mode. But I'm still concerned that it's somehow defaulted to easy or something. Taking a while to take out the uh, buildings today. I've got so many. I've got so many free flayed ones that uh, all the uh, units are just getting stuck. Uh, Alright. You don't seem. You seem to be stuck as well. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Is that it? It should be it. Shouldn't have any more. Uh, what should we call it? Buildings. I lost an Necron Warrior. Is it going to resurrect? No, it's not. Kill them all! Problem is, once orcs invade a planet, you never get rid of them. Because all the orc spores and stuff like that just keep forming new orcs and yada yada. Ooh, 5,000 girls. Yeah, is that? That's the last one, I think, actually. That is. We, are now have, we now have a fully upgraded commander. Lovely. So, let's reinforce that. Just in case they decide to attack. We don't need to build scarabs, actually. Eh, we'll, we'll put them in just for the extra defense. And then we shall... Nope, that's the wrong one. I want commander. Perhaps it's a wraith, even though they're useless, basically. Oh, space marines have gone over there. Now we'll be fighting tower space marines next time. We're fighting space marines. Or we're fighting orcs again. We're fighting orcs again. Interesting. Trivian Groves. Okay. Uh, we're eight minutes in, but I... No, I don't really have time to record a stronghold mission. We'll just record three smaller missions. I mean, it's, it's eight o'clock, and I kind of want to be done recording by half past. Not for any particular reason, mind you. It's just... It's kind of way I prefer it today. Oh, I remember this map. I love this map. This map is great for, um playing Ultimate Apocalypse on. This was the map where I actually did a post-commentary because I liked the game so much. Then when I say post-commentary, it was just me rambling on for an hour while the game played in the background. Which I suppose just sums up all my videos. It's not really a... Uh... Forming a little line. Right. At least we know where they are. Because there's only so many spawn points on this map. And if they spawn opposite, then it means they're going to spawn in one of these three. Ha. Huh. I did not do a forward base, did I? How the... Don't tell me they spawn somewhere really weird. Like up here. Have they spawned in a really weird place? Or have they spawned there and I just walked right past them? Go have a look. There or there? 
No, what are they doing up there? That's not a spawn point on this map. Or rather, it wasn't. And of course, because I've not got my... What should we call it? Forward base. I can't make flayed ones to uh, go and smack them about a bit. Oh, that's Gorgut's dead again. Nearly. Uh, have I lost my wraith? I've lost my other wraith. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. It's fine. What keeps doing that? Has he got a bomb chuck on it? He does. That's what's causing the, uh, the artillery-like fire. And I've just realised I've left my destroyers over here. When I sent them there earlier. Oh, yeah. Wraith. One wraith's dead. I don't think we're really surprised at that. Oh, and the second race dead. See, I look away for like a second and it dies. Oh no, they're both there. Okay. Well, let's keep them out of the fight. Just in case they do die. Like, seriously, that is not a spawn point. Not in the actual, like, the proper map. Or skirmish map. Maybe it's to reduce the time that you spend on this map if you have to keep fighting it over and over again. I don't know. It's just a really random place. I mean, it's right next to a relic. There are maps where you spawn next to relics, but a lot of them are balanced so that each player gets a relic. Whereas this... This... Uh, oh, there's one over there as well. Yeah, because there's a relic... Just in front of where my base is on this skirmish map, I think. Death Touch Immortals, lovely. I'm gonna have to pull those in manually. And how much are they? 382. I am. I'm like eight off. That's mildly irritating. Oh, we're under attack. But we do have 12. I am not risking losing my honor guard to a random dice roll. I mean, you should never auto resolve in strategy games. That's just a fact now. If I was to awaken my monolith, all that. Where's the? Oh, that, that was the other god one there. Yeah, the. Um, I've been playing Planetfall, the new Age of Wonders game, and that can really screw you over with the. Um, the old. Oh, there they are. He's got a... Is that a melter? I think that's a melter. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Let the troops catch up. Yeah, um... Oh, I can't actually make any... Uh, anything else? Okay, right. It's, yeah, Planetfall. It's, it's a really good game. I, I'm really liking the assembly. They've kind of got a bit of a Necron feel to them. Which is probably why I like them. I'm going to do some uh, content for Planetville. Probably, I'm probably going to do some on Saturday, maybe. I'm not going to live stream it, I can't be bothered. I'm trying to live stream a recent game like Planetville is just not going to work. I mean, you saw it with, uh, or you probably didn't actually see it, but. Warhammer, Total War, uh, yeah, Warhammer Total War 2. I tried live streaming that, and yeah, it just did not go well. I've just not got the even with my uh, with my mobile data connection, it just doesn't work. All right, yeah, I'm going to need an actual proper stable broadband or fiber optic connection for that. So yeah, it's just going to be standard content. 
I don't even know about live streaming at the moment because I'm just not in the mood. Not to stream for, to no one for about two hours. I mean, even even this I'm getting a little bit sort of depressed with, but nah. It keeps me keeps me occupied, doesn't it? Who knows? Maybe one day I won't feel so bad about it, but that day is not today. Oh, good, they're dead. Right now, the uh, tower will probably come, and then the orcs as well. Oh no. Well, they reduced the strength for us. That was nice of them. What's that? Ah, oh, resource bonus. There's only two resource bonuses, if I remember correctly. There's that one, and there's the one over here. That kind of defeats the object, doesn't it? Yeah, there's only two. I swear there was more than that on the Kronos map. Or Kronos, or whatever. Alright, we took out most of his honor guard. He's still got a fair amount, though. Though I think that's because of their special ability. Fast population growth. Garrison. Oh, garrison populations. Yeah, so not on a god. Okay. Well, we're going to want those pariahs, so let's grab them, shall we? We're definitely going to want those in the next map. And it means we can get two pariahs. Even better. I'm going to throw water so quickly at the moment. Ooh, this map. This one's going to be difficult because there's two. Oh, okay. Apparently, that's covered with water in this ver in this version. Yeah, there's uh, going to be two enemies spawning because it's a five defense area, and yes, that means there's going to be one there and one there, which means we're going to be fighting two armies at once rather than fighting them both uh, separately. Still, could be worse. Speaking of games I'm playing at the moment, uh, Tiber ah, I mentioned Tiberian Sun, didn't I? Yeah, that's something else that I want to do on the uh, the channel at some point. The Command and Conquer games. Now, Tiberian Sun, I've noticed, is incredibly difficult. The old games tend to be difficult. Oops, I misclicked there. Yeah, the... Um, the older games are, well, they've got this sort of difficulty to them that newer games don't have, just purely down to the fact that the, um, even if the mechanics hold up, they're not necessarily as, like, user-friendly in some aspects. In some, in others, they're actually, uh, they still hold up. But, yeah, in others they really don't. I'd say Command & Conquer Tiberian Sun holds up really well in terms of its mechanics. But the difficulty is still there. Which makes me think that the difficulty was intentional. I don't know, none do I care really about to... Right, you and you. Now, here's a weird thing, right? So, the Tau Commander shows zero melee damage. But he does do damage in melee. I mean, now's not a good time to sort of test that because he's being shot at by a stealth suit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so he's doing damage in melee. Or oh, was. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he does show it now. Okay, never mind. I'm talking out my backside. Now, there was a time... A Unless it was in Dark Crusade, 
the Tau Commander displayed 0, 0, 0, 0 for his melee damage. Maybe I'm thinking of Dark Crusade there. Are you two having difficulty taking out a worker? Because that's just pathetic. What the hell? Did it think just self that thing just self-destructed, didn't it? Oh, I lost a wraith. Hate wraiths in this. <laughs> wraiths are useless. They're scouts, they're not meant for frontline fighting. Uh, oh well. Oh, dear. See, we're at this point now, it's kind of like a critical mass. Uh, they're still... Nope, never mind. They're dead. Yeah, we've reached this critical mass where our forces just cannot be stopped. I mean, I know that's kind of the idea with Necrons, but... Yeah, that's... Oh, I left my rally point over there. Oops. Uh, can I deselect that one? Yes, I can. Excellent. Alright, one of you go over there. One of you go over there, and one of you go over there, even though the enemy will be... You what? They're not there. I need to stop thinking these are the skirmish maps. Alright. What random location have they spawned in? Are they up here? Are they over by the relic? They might very well be. Okay, they've not captured anything up there. Right, okay, there's a turret there. They're capturing that. So they're obviously around here somewhere. There's the barracks. Where's my commander, by the way? Can you just teleport in? There we go. They're only good against infantry. Hmm. I seem to remember them being good against buildings. I guess again, I'm getting that confused with everyone's favourite mod again. Well, not everyone's, but my favourite mod. The tower, even by like the standards of one thousand, the tower just a bit strange. They feel, a, they don't feel like as connected to the universe in the sense that. They just feel like someone watched Gundam and decided, we can do that as well. I know that they have like fire warriors that aren't really in Gundam suits, but they're definitely very, uh, very Japanese anime. Well, what other kind of anime is there? I mean, technically, there's Western animation, but uh, can that really be classified as anime? I mean, anime is sort of quintessentially Japanese. And all the, uh, all the tropes and stuff that don't necessarily cross into uh, Western culture quite as well as you would uh, otherwise expect. Or otherwise not expect, depending on the uh, stance on such tropes. I mean, I personally hate the... There's this thing that sometimes happens in anime. Where a main character will go from it'll go from like the normal animation to some really really simplified thing with Japanese characters everywhere. It did it in Helsing, and yeah, I'm not a big fan of that when that happens. But then that's just that's just how that works over there, I'm guessing. Come on. That's another one down. And final building, hopefully. Yes. No. Maybe. Yes. Yes, it is. Death Touch Pariah earned. And let me guess, that costs like 7,000. 446, that's pretty good. New breed of Necron. Pariahs are revolving combinations of Necron metal and human flesh. 
Indeed. Though, from what if the Emperor had a text speech device was saying, apparently like, the pariahs aren't a thing anymore. Specifically, Kitten just says, I don't know where they've gone, they just seem to have up and left. Uh, I don't know. Still, at least we now have a full Onagar contingent. With the exception of that. No, no, that's all the Onagar we can get. So yeah, we now have every single bit of Honor Guard. That's nice. And let's end the turn, see if we get attacked. We do. Uh, they're attacking that bit there, by the looks of it. They're attacking with the... Uh, I really don't want to water it off, but... Uh, five minutes. There we go. They took that down to four. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's just pathetic. Seriously, how did you lose all of the... How did they destroy my entire base? See, this is why you don't auto-resolve in, uh, in these games. Oh, dear. Right, let's move. If they attack again, we'll fight it, but... I'm going to uh, do the next end turn off screen. You don't need to see any more defensive battles. You get the point with that. So, yes, I'm going to do that off screen. But until next time, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed it. And until next time, I have been Kaldaris. When hopefully we attack someone. Uh, I don't know who. Probably, probably Space Marines. But anyway. Goodbye.